Hey Internet, Harris here. So I've made several videos talking about my favorite note-taking applications for the iPad, but I've never gone in-depth in how I use my iPad for notes and practical tips and tricks for using it as a note-taking device, whether you're using it with a keyboard or a stylus with an Apple Pencil or not. So I'm gonna go into several applications and several tips for each for taking notes with your iPad for school, for work, or really for anything else. Before we begin, I just uploaded a really cool video on the iDownload blog channel called The Ultimate Professional iPad, which you should definitely check out. And very soon I'll be comparing the iPad Pro standard folio case versus Apple's new Magic folio case for students. So stay tuned for that video. I'll have it linked in the description. If you wanna win an iPhone SE, I am doing a giveaway and I'll leave that link down in the description for you to check out. And last but not least, this video is sponsored by paper-like screen protectors for your iPad. You know that your iPad screen is both a fingerprint magnet and too slick to use comfortably with the Apple Pencil. Paper-like fixes those both. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Now before we begin, I just wanna talk about different iPad models that you can choose from, as well as different accessories to help out your note-taking experience. So whether you're using the iPad mini or the budget 10.2 inch seventh generation iPad, even up to the Air and the Pro, whether it be the 2018 Pro or 2020 Pro, uh, they're all pretty good experiences. So as it is, the iPad is a great device, but if you just have a bare iPad, it's not going to be that great for note taking. So the first thing I'd recommend is an Apple Pencil or some type of stylus. Now there's actually a lot more options than you might think. So of course there is Apple's option, the Apple Pencil 1 or 2, depending on if you have an iPad Pro or not, and they're fantastic. They are my top recommendation, but they're a little pricey. You can also get something like a Logitech Crayon, which is pretty good, a similar experience, just doesn't charge the same way, um, has a little bit more bulk, but this is like 50 bucks. But then you can get even cheaper, and you can get something like this, which will connect with your iPad by just clicking a button, and has a very good experience, or one that looks more like the Apple Pencil first generation, even has the magnetic tip, and that's also awesome for iPad note taking, and I can promise that these work very similar to the iPad, they're just not as convenient. So if you have an iPad Pro, I'd probably recommend getting the Apple Pencil 2 because it charges via your iPad. But if you're using something lower than an iPad Pro, look at some of these third-party styli. I'll leave those linked down in the description, but I think these are kind of necessary for great note-taking on your iPad. Now you can also get a keyboard case. So there is Apple's keyboard case, which you probably have seen, as well as their expensive Magic keyboard case, which I'm going to be doing comparisons of both of these. But you can also get a cheap Bluetooth keyboard, like this is 20 bucks for writing assignments kind of in maybe your dorm room or an office or something like that. It's not gonna be as practical as a built-in case. Now Logitech also makes an awesome keyboard case, which I will leave my review and a link down in the description to check this out. And it even includes a trackpad. So this is awesome for the iPad Air and cheaper iPads. Now the iPad now supports mice and that's an awesome feature. So some things like the Logitech case I just showed you as well as Apple's Magic Keyboard will give you that trackpad but you can also just bring around a simple mouse. So this is a Logitech mouse, it's called the Pebble. It's got a super satisfying click, it's pretty portable. I recently was sent this tiny little mouse, which is pretty cool, and you can just control your iPad with these. For the sake of my purpose, I think the decked out iPad experience is going to be Apple's Magic Keyboard. It gives you a great keyboard and a great trackpad built in, but it's very expensive, so you can do any of the combinations that I just showed you. Okay, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use the Apple Pencil, and for a while, I'm just going to use the bare iPad before I get into the keyboard. Now again, on this iPad screen, I do have a paper-like screen protector, and what this screen protector does is basically adds kind of a grit and a matte screen protector to your iPad, which takes away the fingerprints, which is a big deal, but also gives a great uh, tactile texture to your stylus or Apple Pencil when you're taking notes. So I definitely recommend it for protecting your screen, taking away fingerprints, and giving it a great texture for your Apple Pencil. And they are the sponsor of this video, and I'll leave them linked down in the description. So I've made many videos comparing good notes and notability, my two favorite notes applications. And because of that, I'm not going to go in depth into comparing those two apps, but in this video, I'm just going to give you tips for using both, as well as tips for using Safari and Apple's Notes app for your iPad. So assuming you have some type of note application for your iPad, whether it be notability or GoodNotes or OneNote 
or even Apple's Notes app, doesn't really matter which one. One of my favorite things to do is to share PDFs, PowerPoints, lectures, all the type of stuff into my note application so that I can mark up and annotate within the note and that's incredible. It's one of my favorite features. So we'll start with Safari, but this can work whether you're in Mail or Canvas or Blackboard or wherever. You click the share button and then all you have to do is choose the application that you want to share it to. In this instance, we'll start with Notability, but I could also do OneNote, I could also do Books, GoodNotes, um, you know, whatever I wanted. So we'll do Notability here and then it will send to Notability and I have the ability to create a new note or add to an existing note. I always like to create a new note when I send documents, but you can do it however you want. And then you can select the subject that you want it to be in. So let's say I want this one to be in my religion and reason class and I want to import it. And then it sent that to Notability. Again, this is a very similar process for other applications. So then I go into Notability and I go into the religion and reason I can go into that and then I have the document right in front of me and I'm able to highlight things, I'm able to circle and mark up and more. And it's awesome. I can zoom in and out. I could also select an area and copy it and then I could go to a different note and I can paste it. So it makes it really easy to move things. Now let's show you another feature. So if I go into Safari, so if I'm in Safari now and then I have my other note application up to the left, we'll say I have this picture of DNA. All I have to do is hold and drag it over and I can automatically add that image to my note. And that's one of my favorite features as well. And then I can resize it and rotate it and do all kind of stuff. So it's really easy to add images to your notes no matter what note taking app you are using. And then a third thing. So say I am um, viewing this article. So I'm reading Man or Rabbit and I want to add an excerpt of text into here. I can highlight and copy and paste, but I can also take a screenshot. So you see I have a screenshot there, and then I click on the screenshot, and then I adjust it so that it just has the selection that I want, and then I click the share button, and I just click copy, and then I can delete that, and then I go into here, and I can paste it. And then just like that, I've pasted something, an image, a screenshot from the right side of my screen over to the left and it didn't save anywhere, it just copied it. I could have saved it, but I chose not to. So those are a couple awesome ways to drag things over into your note document. So let's go ahead and look at Notability real quick. I'll give you a couple of tips. So on the left hand side, you have your dividers. So I have Boston College, I have YouTube, and I have old school stuff from like high school. And those are dividing all my notes. And then inside of there, I have my individual classes. So we'll go into my new scientific visions class. Inside of this subject is where I keep all of my notebooks, all my documents, everything that I've scanned. So you see, I have a bunch of documents in here that my teacher submitted, and then I simply shared them to this application so I can read them and annotate them inside of here. Now, if I go back and I select a notebook, you can see that I have a notebook here and I can write away as I want to. So there's a text tool if I wanna add text, then there's the basic writing tool. There's highlighter, eraser, and I can do a partial or whole erase. So the whole erase will erase the entire stroke, whereas the partial eraser will be more like you would expect on a real eraser where it's just going to erase what you're touching. But Notability has this awesome feature of recording. So you can record lectures using your iPad. And what's awesome is that you can actually scrub through and find out what was being said as you were writing. You can also tap on a part of your reading and it will take you to the recording from that part. That is a super handy tool. Now, Notability also allows you to have two apps side by side. So if I swipe over from the left side to the right, and I can view a document on the right or left. Now I can also add something like a document scan. So if there's a document, maybe like a syllabus that I have in front of me in paper, I can scan that. And then I could put that on uh, my app, which is awesome. I love scanning documents. So I'm gonna hop over into GoodNotes. And GoodNotes is different because it actually allows me to have folders, like a conventional folder system. So you can see here, I have a bunch of random documents as well as folders. So we'll go into my Boston College folder and you see I have different classes here. We'll go into say my computer science folder and you see I have lectures that my teacher sent us. Again, I just shared it to this app so I can annotate my lectures, but then I also have a notebook. Now what's cool about GoodNotes is that you can actually put the app side by side. So if you drag another version of GoodNotes to the right side, you can have multiple documents open at the same time. 
and this is fantastic if you want to be working on two different documents at once, but of course you can also add something like Safari to the right side and be working on two things at once. And you can even add a third thing such as the files application and you have all your files right here while you're working on two other things. So that is very powerful. Now what's interesting about GoodNotes is that you have a tabbed view up top, so you can easily filter through different tabs, or you can disable that if you want a simpler experience. You can also add images and text. You can do a pointer if you're doing a presentation and choose what kind of pointer you want. You can do the same drag and drop for your images. It doesn't have the voice recording feature, but you can do other things like view all of your documents and find the right one. And you can also change in your settings, your template. So you can click change template and you have a whole bunch of templates that you can choose from. You can even download more templates. So with Notability, you really don't get too many templates. You can see the template options here. There's just, what, 12 templates with some different colors. But if you want to manually add your own templates, you can download some by Googling them on Safari. And then you click this import button and you can import a file and then you choose that file and it will import into whatever notebook you want. And then you have a blank template. It's not the best system, but it's kind of a workaround for Notability. Notability will allow you to add things such as GIF and stickies and stickies is great basically if you want to add a sticky note to your page or just a different style template. So if I needed to add a grid somewhere, I can do that and I can change that grid pretty simply and easily. So if I want to add a grid, the Notability is cool because you can make shapes automatically. So if I want to draw a triangle, I can just draw a triangle and hold and then I can adjust the triangles angles and I can also adjust the fill and stuff like that. If I want to do a straight line, it is the same thing. Just drag it and hold and it'll make a straight line. Now in GoodNotes, if I want to do a straight line, I'm going to have to use the shape tool and it will make a straight line. But I can also use the highlighter tool to automatically do a straight highlighter. So if I'm kind of wavy, it will straighten out my highlighter just like that. Now what's great about the iPad with a trackpad or a mouse is that you can actually use Google Drive services right from your iPad. It actually works decently well. So if you're using a mouse and a keyboard, you can use this and edit away like you would pretty much on a computer. But again, you pretty much do need a keyboard and a trackpad or mouse to do that. But if you do, it works pretty well. Now you can also just use the default notes application for taking notes. You can do both your pencil and then you can also type away just like this. Now you also have the ability to scan documents just like you could in the other applications. But what's cool is if you go into your control center settings on your iPad, you do have the ability to add a shortcut for notes. So you see that notes there. So then if I go down to my control center, I can easily hold onto this and start a new note or scan a document right from here. The third cool thing about this is if you need to take a quick note, you can turn on the setting to just tap on your lock screen with your Apple Pencil and then you can write away a quick note instantly. So whether you're using GoodNotes or Notability or Notes or any other application, the iPad Pro is awesome for taking notes and no matter what devices you have, it can be a pretty good experience. Not all are equal, but I invite you to check out some of the accessories I mentioned down in the description. And of course, paper like and comment if you have any questions, but thanks for watching.